guys, it's Nikki with California Homeschool Mom. This episode, we're going to talk about rewards and incentives because who doesn't like a bribe? A good bribe. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Okay, so in our house, we use incentives and rewards to help ensure there's peace and growth, growth and progress in our family. We need to get things done, so we need to keep the oil, the wheel going. So I use incentives to help uh, persuade um, my children to um, move. Let's get it going. Um, or to keep it up, you know, you gotta be a cheerleader sometimes. So, what I started using uh, maybe four or five years ago with my oldest string bean, I I used to use just a clear jar and I would put like candy, uh, little cheap crap from the dollar store because I love the dollar store, um, whatever. Uh, but it kind of got boring and also those little jars, like the, the opening is really small and I found that I was finding things that were big, like big bubble sticks and things like that. So I needed a box. So what I did, um, I went to my trusty, this was dollar, Dollar Tree. And you can't tell now, but I got an organizer box. It was just a regular plastic box. Um, it was white, like, you know, opaque white. And what I did was I took, um, I bought silver, um, uh, not masking tape, but uh, carpenter. Well, you know what I'm talking about. The silver tape, silver tape. Um, and um, covered the box to kind of give it that spy kind of look. And, um, you know, you know, that silver briefcase you always see with the bomb inside and, you know, or Tom Cruise is walking with it with the money or something. So that was the uh, idea. And um, can't see it now because this box is old, but I wrote, because I wanted to work on alliteration, I don't know why, super secret spy suitcase. So um, my oldest one, he... Uh, he was a late talker, so I was like really trying to get him tongue action exercise to really get all those muscles moving so his speech could flow a lot more freely. Um, and it worked. So, so what I do is I put all kinds of goodies from the dollar store, um, and not the dollar store. We'll go over that in a minute. So, stickers, um, bubbles, bubbles. I don't care how old you are. Kids love bubbles. I get bubbles. Got these bubbles around Halloween. It was like 15 in a bag, you know, for like the class gifts. 15, boom. I'm good for a long time. Um, dollar store. Since we're doing our little spy theme, this was the decoder kit. Fingerprint kit. Invisible pen decoder. Man, these kids eat this up. They love it. Hidden message. All from the dollar store. Actually, I should make a dollar store find video. Little Batman stuff, little figurines, shades. They love cute little funny looking shades. Um, Keychains. Well, no, that's really for me. Wait, so I put it right back in. Let me take that out. And pink. Sometimes they like interesting colors, so to put their stuff in. Um, and then. Um, Sometimes the little cheap stuff doesn't work if they did something really really great and they feel they should have something really great So um, My son really wants the last of the diary of a wimpy kid. So that is in the box. So what we do We have a goal system a daily and a weekly so each day they need to earn 10 stars and um Four days out the week because um, one day we're like really not home that much and it's really crazy and then on and then they need to have um, really 40 between 40 and 45 stars by the end of the week because that one day when things are really crazy I only uh, I only they only need to get five that day so really minimum is 45 um, but I um, allow for, you know how you get extra credit when you're a teacher, extra credit for your, to your students who really need that extra credit to pass or whatever. Uh, I'll have like extra credit, like on Thursday, I'm like, hey, Meatloaf, you only have 39 stars and you need 45. So what are you going to do? And so I'll, they got to work for those. Like um, 
they have to in our backyard they're gonna pull weeds um, they have to clean uh, the windows that are up really high well not too high where they fall down to their death but I mean it's like cobwebs and Charlotte's web back there and and Lord of the Rings like I don't even want to go over there and this stuff that I really don't want to do um, I have them do it so to keep them um, encouraged to get their stars consistently throughout the day and throughout the week. So on Friday, we call it, it's the weekend baby. And I pull out the box and they open it and they choose whatever they want, one thing only, they get that. I make popcorn in our popcorn machine and uh, we have a movie matinee or usually just a movie matinee or I'll let them play video games because we do video games um, on the weekend only so and they're cool so that works out a lot if they don't get the required stars too bad so sad you're not going in the box so try harder next time so um my rising kindergartner you know i'll give him a little something but definitely for the ninth grader no you you, you have to set goals and stick to them to get a reward and for the first grader we're still in the process but for incentives and rewards I, I use a number of things. Um, reward bracelets. My kids really like these for some reason. I don't know if it's the bracelet factor, but I give them a bracelet to start the day off. You know, you make up your bed, boom. That's a bracelet. It's also the star, but they like to have something on them to, to see. Put the bracelet on. Oops. And it falls down. And then throughout the day, um... Oop, it's sticking here, but not here. Throughout the day, got it here. Throughout the day, there you go. I add stickers um, to their bracelet all the way around, and um, and they really like that. So that's another incentive that I use. I'm sorry, I'm really out of focus. I gotta stop moving, guys. I'm I'm just a nomad. Um, I also sometimes use a chart that has lines on it I make or you can get from the dollar store it's a little chart and it has like a little grid of boxes on the bottom and like maybe 15 little boxes and uh, every time they do something you put a sticker on each box uh, I do use that uh, I use that a lot um, just so they can see the progress that they're making but I started using these recently and they like that because they can look on their arm at a second and see so we kind of go back and forth but I keep a main gold chart on the on the wall so they can see how they how they're doing throughout the week so that really helps for my visual kids who they have to see how much they've done and how much is left so that's it for our um, incentives and rewards I know I left some things out but the gist of it is I just so you don't break the bank. Um, we I buy things. Um, I also make things, and we we do things like they can take a trip to um, Minchie's for some frozen yogurt. Uh, what I oh, I forgot what I used to do. I would write on strips things that they could do. Like I would put a trip to Minchie's for some yogurt, and I put that in there. Um, or you don't have to clean. Uh, you don't have to do two chores today and I put that in the box so it doesn't have to be things that you buy if you want to get away from that commercial aspect of it um, it could be make cupcakes with mom um, which is kind of hard because then all the other kids want to do it too but things that are special that they can do around the house or outside or not do because that's important too those are incentives as well um, I don't have to make up my bed today you know Anything that makes your kid happy, put it in a box. I recommend a, a big box, like at least 12, at least 12 inches, at least one way. Um, because summer's coming up, you got like big long bubble wands or batons for girls, whatever. And um, that's cool. But um, the, the thing of doing activities with your kid, sit down and think of things that they like to do. Uh, and then write that out and then stick it in there. I gravitated more toward the dollar store things because it's right there I can give it to them. Boom. We're done um, 
but we also do things where we can go out somewhere or they can um, not have to do something that they really don't like to do. So um, that's uh, in a nutshell what we're currently doing with incentives and rewards. I hope that helps you out. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open to them. If you have any questions, comments, boom, in the description uh, below. Um, like, share, subscribe so you know whenever I'm dropping a video, which is every week. And I will see you next week with another episode from California Homeschool Mom. Thanks for watching. I'm Nikki. Take care.